not only can I see, it's been a minute since I've done any kind of welding video. So, I figured today would be a good day to unbox the uh, Miller T94i. This is, uh, this is the paperwork, so we'll set that aside for now and get into it. So, first thing, it's not an unboxing, it's an unbagging. So, looks like, first thing here, we have a couple batteries. Set those aside. And this looks like the backpack unit for where the, I'm guessing the filters in the batteries go. Look at that. Sweet. Looks like we got a hose here with, uh, I think that looks like a check valve. I don't know. I really know nothing about this. Looks like we got a cable. I'm guessing for a charger. We haven't found quite yet. Looks like we got a pre-filter. Set that aside. Looks like, oh, came with a whole bundle of lenses. That is nice. What else we got here? A little pamphlet. I wanted to get everything out of here before we got into the, ooh! Here's our battery charger for lithium ion. Before we get into the hood, because the hood's cool. Dig in here. Looks like, uh, no, no. Maybe a shoulder support. Okay, here is the hood itself. Now, I'm gonna be honest with you. Uh, I've never used one of these. I've never worn one. So, this will be my first welding hood that's got the clear light technology that everything is spoken so highly of. So, look at that. It's pretty. Now, I think on this T94i-R, oh, look at that whole thing flips up. Let's get rid of some of this plastic here. All this protective stuff. It says, clear light lens technology. High definition optics for precision arc recognition. See what you've been missing. Now I purchased this welding hood setup from uh, my local welding supplier. Uh, which is uh, Norco, and I've been doing business with them for a lot of years, and I really like them. So, I actually quit smoking after 16 years. Uh, pack a day, two packs a day, and, you know, as somebody who welds for a living, welding and smoking kind of get in a double dose. So, decided... It was time to quit smoking, and it was time to take my health a little bit more seriously. Which is what brought me to buy this for my home shop. And, uh, no, they're not cheap. So, pretty excited here. I think, uh, let's see, I don't know, that just adjusts the tension. I'm wondering, there's some plastic in there, I'm kind of wondering how, uh, well tell you what, I'm going to try it on real quick, because I'm curious, you can see my balding head, I don't think there's anything special about putting it on, maybe, looks like there's a strap here that holds the respirator deal on. I'm thinking that this thing's gonna be kind of a tight tight fit for my big head.
Hmm. You see, this is... This is unedited. I have never messed with this thing yet. This is just raw. Okay. Already starting to fog up in here. And probably fogging up because, well, we don't have the respirator on. So, it's pretty, pretty fancy so far. Let's, uh, let's take a moment here. And we're going to glance through the instructions and figure out how this all goes together. Installing the battery. So we'll start with this. Hopefully these batteries have some charge on it. Oh, back to it. So it's looking like, let's get this camera adjusted here. It's looking like the battery installs this way. Okay, batteries in there. Ooh, that's the that's a little blower motor right there. That's what spins. Okay, so installing the air filter. Maybe the yeah, I'll get everything out of the back. Yeah, it's probably in here already. Okay, so there's a screen. Two is the foam purifier. Maybe that's in this bag here. This is where we got all the extra, extra lenses and stuff. So it's pretty, pretty snazzy. Let's see what all we got here. We got a couple. I think these are spare side lenses. I don't think they're blackout covers. Got some interior shields. Those are good. Real nice to have. And we got one. Actually, it looks like just a bunch of face covers in here. We're not going to lose any sleep over the filter part yet. By the way, you see my breath? It's a balmy. 32 degrees in the shop right now. So that's fun. Okay, so we take this filter piece and it looks like to just oh maybe we got it. oh we got it backwards. Clicks in snaps. So, I'm going to take this camera, see there's the battery, and there's the filter unit. Let's set this back down. Okay, so after the filter is installed here, it's showing me the back of the welding hood. And I believe that's all this, and it's all, this part's all hooked up. So now we need to open this bag. And it actually doesn't say anything about where the airflow meter thing goes. Attach breathing tube. Okay, so there's two sides here. The screw inside. It's got tabs on it. The tab end goes into this unit. It locks in. That's nice. And then this has push fittings. Kind of a... Oh! 
that, that's a tight seal. I'm trying to, you know, I've never used something like this before, so I'm trying to be a little bit open-minded. So we have the on-off button here, and it says danger, low, high, and battery. I don't know, do, do we put it on now? So something about shoulder straps, and I don't know if if mine came with the shoulder straps. Okay, oh wait, the shoulder straps are already on it. So I'm on the thicker side. Oh, oh, that's toy. All right, here we go. First time with it running. Well, hopefully my mic isn't picking up too much sound. It's, uh, you know, it's probably because it's winter time, but it is cold as shit. I will say you get plenty of hose, so that's good. And I'm not going to weld with it tonight, but I have another test that I hope you guys will really like. I have an idea. I don't think it's fair to do an unboxing video without doing at least one test. So, what better way to see that if this works, if I can cut an onion and not cry. You know, I like how it vibrates. Like it tells you, it's like, hey, we're working, boss. Ah, so fresh. So we'll uh, cut the end of the onions off here. And I set it off to the off to the side. You know, visibility, visibility's good. You know, I, I actually watch a lot of Gordon Ramsay and Josh Weissman, and Sam the Cooking Guy. And, Mythical kitchen. You know, I actually love cooking. And this is really nice because not only can I see to run a knife, but uh, you know, that's a halfway decent that's a halfway decent cut on my onions. That's pretty nice. In the future, hopefully I'll get some videos actually running this thing and uh, I'll, uh, I'll let you know how the welding hood itself works, but I think this concludes the unboxing video. Take this off. What you should do, if you don't like my content, that's fine. If you do, you should subscribe because we are actively putting out more stuff. I know it's pretty few and far between, but I, like many of you, are busy and have a busy life. So, with that being said, Thank you for being here, and we'll see you in the next one. Ah, uh, smells like onions! <coughs> the part worked great.